Uh, master, in uh, recent news, there is um, a report about a natural phenomenon in Australia where there is a lake that sometimes creates an image of the tree of life. Um, it happens when, when nearby tea trees release their oil into the water, making it dark. Uh -huh. And uh, the lake's drainage channels create a shape that resembles uh -huh. a huge tree of life. Um, there are some really beautiful photos taken and shared on social media. Master, do you know what the meaning of this natural phenomenon is? You see, every tree, uh, most of the trees have some deities that live with the tree and become the spirit of the tree or the tree spirit. So these uh, tea trees, they have deities. And these deities are very benevolent. He is using his power, as much power as he has, to draw this tree on the lake, using the, the oil of the tea tree, wow. to draw it like that. You can see it's a phenomenon. It is not like a natural thing that the tea tree just oozes out the tree oil, and then it becomes so perfectly drawn, like a painting, in, in explicit. Yeah. Details. Yes. So this is to keep warning us. Oh yeah, I have here the tea trees. Deity draws the, in the water the tree of life to remind humans not to destroy ourselves. And I say it here, genius idea. <laughs> I praise the tree deity for the genius idea. Of course, the tree of life symbolizes life and the. Uh, the deity wants to remind us that we do not destroy life, because if we destroy other life, then we destroy our own life also. If we destroy trees, which give us oxygen and shade and, and holding the soil together so that it will not be washed away, and so many things that the tree can do. And if we keep cutting them, just to raise the animals, and then we kill the animals as well, then our life will be at stake also. Yes. Yes. Most of the humans do not hear the trees, do not hear the, the deities around us who are always trying to tell us things, even animals. Whenever I have time to sit down and think of humans, I think we are deaf, blind, and dumb. We don't know anything, and we look down upon the animals who are so intelligent, so in, inside, so connected with the divine. Yes, yes. Even trees have to ooze out whatever oil they have to teach humans to be better stewards of the planet, not to kill lives, not to destroy uh, environment or other animals, because that means we're killing ourselves. It says something, yeah, remind humans not to destroy our, ourselves. Yeah. That's why he drew the tree of life. You see, so perfect. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah. More perfect and precise, more than what we do even with the pen. It's so perfect, like, like done by a computer. Hmm? So detailed, so perfect in every little stroke. So it means exactly that. Do not destroy life. We cut trees, we kill animals, all these are destroying activities to ourselves. The price of the food has never been so high because we have in food shortage, because we destroy natural environments and kill bees by insecticides and also the pandemic right now. You know, one thing leads to another. Everything is, seems like pounding on humans' uh, existence right now. Truly want to destroy humans.